Good morning, folks. We've got a couple excellent stories to hit today, including on cosmic rays, aviation, ozone, and solar forcing overall. A special January observer event has been set. We also have several items to monitor on our star. We didn't have much in the way of solar flaring, and the geomagnetic activity has dialed back here at our planet, but there's more coming and more to watch. Several active regions, and as of this morning, one less plasma filament. While we await the coronal hole stream impact over the next 24 hours, I'll also be checking coronagraph images to see if this plasma filament eruption is heading our way. And looking a bit further ahead, the next coronal hole is now solidly visible incoming on the south. Big boy there. So again, several space weather watches at the moment. First up in the link list today, Good one diving deeper on cosmic radiation and aviation impact. We've seen several of these discussions in the past and even recently, and it's always good to see them looking deeper into space radiation of this kind, especially with Earth's magnetic field weakening as it is. Up next is one on EMF and insects. This one is actually more focused on human-made EMF like 5G, but it also mentions the geomagnetic field of the planet. And when it comes to a study like this, any information is useful information. An impact of either natural or man-made EMF informs us about the other side as well. In my disappointment of the week, these scientists expend great effort trying to explain why the heck the ozone is still struggling so much despite the drops in pollution. They do mention that the sun has an impact, but only briefly, and they do not mention the changes in Earth's magnetic field. So I'm glad to have this paper to look to. Its conclusions are a bit of a hydra, simply put. High solar activity and geomagnetic storms trigger extra energetic particle impact to the atmosphere, which changes the polar vortex, causing it to be warmer around the world and therefore impacting energy consumption, especially in very cold places. Those same particles, by the way, are what destroy the ozone and which are surging in the ongoing geomagnetic excursion and the pole shift, the thing that the previous paper missed. Folks, January 13th, best time of year to be in Arizona versus just about anywhere else in the country, we are going back to the Scottsdale Sound Sanctuary for a longer and more in-depth event. Alan Torres will be there to discuss some psychological elements of getting yourself in top shape, especially with what is coming to our planet. We'll have a special surprise guest as well. There will be long discussion, sound healing, and more. We greatly appreciate your support. Grab your tickets to the January event at the link below. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 7 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.